hold my hands up I actually wasn't going to vlog today but I just watched I was watching Alfie Days's vlogmas and he was going vlogmas it's a way of life even if it's a, a meet like a boring day you've got to vlog it it's your day actually today's not boring today I have got ridiculous amounts of work to do so as well as vlogmas every day I have a load of collaborations come in because it's my job so I I was going to take the day off to like um, catch up on everything but I thought you know what let's t let's take you along so you can see the the like the work that goes in I guess behind blogging so today I'm shooting with a photographer she's called Zoe um she'll be tagged in the pictures that she takes on my Instagram probably if I remember I'm really bad at tagging people but um she is a photographer so if you ever need a photographer in London you can go shoot with her um she's called Zoe Griffin she takes amazing pictures for my blog so all my recent blog posts are all shot by Zoe I just wanted to up my game a little bit so I I got a photographer <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to shoot three looks today. I'm going to shoot something with YSL, I'm going to shoot something with Christian Louboutin and something for Marks and Spencers too. So we've got three three looks. I'm, I'm praying that it doesn't rain. It's meant to rain at 12 and we're shooting at 11. So we may just catch it. But when you gotta, when you have deadlines, you've got to shoot in the rain. <laughs> it's the bad side of blogging. So yeah, I'm going to go to my little space in Notting Hill again, which I really enjoy shooting at because it's just really easy. So I'll probably catch up with you in Cafe Nero again. The same one. <laughs> so guys, mid shooting and Zoe, the lovely photographer, Hi. if you want to, you want someone to take your photographs, this is your girl. She's so good. <laughs> but look what she brings with her. <laughs> <laughs> Zero shame. The vlogging game is. <laughs> I love how there's like a massive queue of people. As well. It pops up, it pops down. It's genius. <laughs> I can't believe we do the things we do for the gram. <laughs> We have wrapped guys. This will be on my blog in the next couple of weeks. And also I will leave Zoe's details down below so you can go check her out. If you you start it, if you're starting blogging or want to start a blog, she's a very good place to start because she knows what she's doing and it helps a lot. <laughs> but yeah, this is Notting Hill if anyone's never been. All the colourful houses, look at them, so pretty. Which one would you live in? I think I'd live in the pink one. I'd really live in the pink one as well. <laughs> And then I have like a purple door. <laughs> no, a glittery, a glittery door. That would be sick. <laughs> I just got back. Kettle has just boiled. Got my sushi at the ready. And I'm about to sit down for an epic editing session. And I mean epic. I think it is one o'clock now. And I think I'll be going for the next 12 hours in this spot. So, <laughs> not entirely sure what this daily vlog might be, but I might do my shoe haul in, like, my shoe collection in this video, because I know a lot of you have been asking that. Um, I also might tackle the P.O. Box situation, which is getting a little bit out of hand, but um, I might do a giveaway for you guys to, um, and give it away. So, I might do that or do some kind of like 50k giveaway because guys I have just hit 50k it's cool um so yeah this is the situation from now just had did three blog posts and now I'm about to edit tonight's vlogmas a video for you guys a whole video and write three blog posts as well and then get ready to shoot for tomorrow and order my Christmas tree because I definitely need to order my Christmas tree. Bit behind schedule with the old Christmas decoration situation. Definitely need to order that. I swear every time I go to have like a power nap, power naps are intense by the way. They're so good. <laughs> when, um, because I, I just always power nap. Good 10 minutes and I'm good to go again. I'm like, <laughs> they cook, they do something. Can you hear it? I swear every time every time it's like someone's punishing me for trying to sleep um i was just laughing does anyone else have like an ongoing message with their best mates on whatsapp like just continuous i'm such a bad text backer so if anyone not in my like close friendship groups tries to message me back i'm like yes no, I want to know date, time, you want to meet me, and then I'm done. I'm not like, especially with guys, I'm not a texter. Like, I hate it. Not hate it. That's that's a bit extreme, but I'm, I, 
I prefer someone to just be like, date time, let's meet up. I'm not one of the people that will like have a cute little texting conversation. I'd rather you just voice note me what you want. <laughs> Except my best friends, like we just have an open dialogue constantly, continuously throughout the day, all day, every day, most days, about such random, random, random stuff. And it's not even, my friend, me and Abby, you guys know Abby, the, the friend I'm doing the podcast with, um, if any, I reckon we could make a book out of our WhatsApp messages. It's not even like the normal like boy talk. Boy, boys will rarely come up except to like fathom them, fathom them out. Like if they've done something really ridiculously stupid. Um, it's so random <laughs> from like the really intellectual and like like politic talk or like really like groundbreaking stuff to like the goddamn weird. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so interesting to publish. <laughs> um, I mean, what was, how did I get onto this topic? I have no idea. Um, look how insane these boots are. They're Fendi. How cool is that? George has just sent me it. <laughs> She's gonna kill me. <laughs> She's gonna kill me. So George sent me that picture I just showed you and I thought it was um, a mannequin. It looks like mannequin's legs. <laughs> she just sent Instagram versus real. <laughs> oh, <it's> too much. <laughs> Can we do <laughs> So I've been a bad vlogmaster. I missed a day. Oh no, 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 no. I did vlog yesterday, but I'm not gonna put. I'm gonna merge them together. And you'll be none the wiser. So it's Friday night and I am, um, I've literally got, I've never been this busy before in my blogging career ever. Everything's just come at once. I think it's the time of year. So um, I'm just about, I've said to jo Georgia works down the road from me and I was like, I need a glass of wine. So I'm gonna go to go for a glass of wine and then hopefully I will not be as stressed. So continuing with my Vlogmas mashup. <laughs> Let's go Chelsea for a drink. I told the people in my last vlog to go for it to make you sorry. We're just up my hair. God. This is just in Bluebird in Chelsea. Well deserved glass of white wine. Oh yeah. Sorry guys, I'm so slacking on my vlogmas. <laughs> I keep forgetting to get the camera out. But um it's so weird. Every time I come to Oxford you know what else? Do I get asked out on a date except for Oxford Street? So bizarre. I'm not joking, every single time. This guy that just stopped me was like, um, I said, I'm really sorry, but I have to carry on shopping before the, the shops close. He was like, you look like you've shot. I had a long back. <laughs> it's fresh and sweet. <laughs> anyway, it is um, really late. It's Friday night, aka okay, my favourite time to shop because it's quiet. Um, Friday night cardio. I'm gonna go home and this weekend is actually just work weekend so I might just merge a couple of days into one for you guys. It's gonna be very boring. I'm laughing because I can see what's in front of me. You might notice these shelves are bare. Um, you guys have been asking and asking and asking and asking for about a year for a shoe collection video and I promised I'd do it in Vlogmas. So here we go. Are you ready for this? Okay, this is all my shoes in all their glory. Right here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Do we just go through them all bit by bit? I don't know. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure the best way to do this. So I'm just gonna maybe talk you through my favourites, my worst, why I have some, and yeah, let's get started. Do you want to know my most worn pair of shoes? The re really, really dull, but the most worn. So, and I think everyone should have a pair of these in their wardrobe. By the way, I have no idea what's going on with my hair. Um, where are they? These ones. So I bought these a couple of years ago when I went the BAFTAs and I literally just needed a pair of nude shoes to go with this dress and I went to Topshop, didn't even try them on, picked them up and I have worn them 
to death like they're just a pair of nude shoes from Topshop they still have kind of similar ones but look how battered they are I actually feel a little bit embarrassed going out in them now but I still do <laughs> and um I just know that they're, they're so comfy as well they have like little cushions on the bottom I always look for that in shoes sometimes like for night out shoes like a cushion is a good thing but yeah I wore these to the BAFTAs if I've still got the picture I'll put it in, on the screen and I've just there that shoe when you have a dress you just know that if nothing else goes you have these like the they literally have been worn most out of all my shoes I think flats wise you probably don't know if you've seen these <sighs> These are, oh, by the way, they're from Topshop, those nude ones. These are my most worn flat shoes and I'm actually looking to replace both the nude heels and these ones. So I got these from Just Fab, which is that subscription service. Um, I worked with them like right at the start of my blog and I just have worn these ever since. Um, they're like just an ideal over the knee boot, which I live in. I love over the knee boots. They just keep you super warm. And as you can see, they are absolutely battered. I think there's a hole in the shoe. So they're probably my most worn pair of shoes. I actually wear as well these ones a lot you would have seen them on my blog my instagram I love these biker boots they're from koi footwear and they are so comfy so i've probably shown you the most comfiest shoes where's that go most painful shoes are actually my most expensive oh actually i've missed a pair of shoes out my gucci trainers I forgot about them um so my most expensive pairs of shoes are actually my most uncomfiest so um <laughs> these ones here they are hammerstein boots and although i love them i can literally wear them for an hour max before they absolutely blister my feet to pieces do you know what it is maybe it's the hard leather on the expensive shoes that need to be worn in a lot i used to get my friend when i used to live with abby you know um abby who's doing the podcast with me i used to get her we have similar size feet hers are slightly bigger so whenever i got new shoes i'd get her to break them in for me <laughs> but we don't live together anymore so we can't do that but yeah these are beautiful boots and I reckon I, they will be less painful after a while but you just have to like grin and bear it for a little while wear it around the house <laughs> so they are super painful these are actually some that I've just these are actually some that I just got and I really wanted them to replace my just fab ones but oh my gosh these like I have a blister still on my my ankle from this I can't but I know they're gonna be good after a while. You just have to like get through that phase of like breaking them in. What else do you want to know? Um, my favorite pairs are obviously, I'm gonna take you off now. So my favorite pairs have to be the Manolo Blonic S kind of ones. These are from Paradox London. These are Jasper Conran and these are from River Island. Love these. I actually love these as well. These are from Paradox London. Really no new and noted brand that I love. Have a bunch, at first off, you're like, hmm, these aren't interesting. But then when you delve into the shop, like online, they have such good finds. I mean, like, look at that shoe look at that and then um this one as well gorgeous 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 you're probably guessing that i like a little bit of embellishment on my shoes these are from a brand called tb dress i think they're an online shop um similar to sheen that kind of vibe these are from boohoo all my shoes are kind of high street value most of them that are the odd one that i like designer but most of them are high street these are my carry shoes hands up right below in the comments if you know where I wore these, I call them my Carrie Bradshaw shoes, my Carries. This is the rose gold section, random earring. Um, they're the same as these ones, but I just, I like them so much. I got them in nude as well. We got some Valentino-esque kind of ones from Primark. These are ASOS rose gold. These are cute. I like the heel on these. And then up top, we have, um, these boots are really super cool. I have them in... When I like a shoe, you'll see this a lot, I get them in nude and black, so I can wear them with two different outfits. These are Zara, really old, I had these for ages, they're kind of Chanel-esque kind of boots. Um, these are also from Zara, kind of a velvety colour, can you see that? They're like blue velvet, it's not picking up, they're cool. Actually, I wear these a lot, I have two similar pairs, um, can't remember where they, they're from, I think they're from 
public desire or ego one of them but I have um, these ones here which I actually wear more they're just a bit more laid back and they're quite soft on the inside I really love them they're from public desire I think these ones are really cool they remind me of Gucci ones like a Gucci kind of shoe. They're again from like an online site like Sheen or something. Um, my platforms, love those. I have another pair of platforms down here. Slimming to that Louis Vuitton phase that everyone's going through. These are mega heels, oh my gosh. Platform Spice Girls. And then these are Nasty Girl. I love boots with like embellishment. You guys know how much I go on about embellishment on shoes. I just think it makes it look more designer-esque. These are like cowboy boots, which were all in, well, still are all in, so I got them from Nasty Girl as well, I think. These are from, I cannot remember, but recently. They've been in a recent haul. Maybe it's the fall of Sheen, I think. And then we have some more Valentino ones from Ego. These are old school from ASOS. Some more Valentino-esque ones from Sheen. I get a lot of shoes from Sheen or Sephora, those kind of sites. They have such good shoes. Ego, some Rose Cold Beauties. These are from Just Fab, the same as my flat shoes. Um, some little cute, these are Public Desire. I always wear these a lot. So whenever I wear court heels, either these ones from Public Desire or these ones which are from like Sheen or something. Or maybe even Public Desire. I don't know, not too sure. Um, my Chanel dupes. Can you even, like, how? <laughs> how? These are so similar to Chanel. They have, like, that little pearl at the bottom. And then these are the most painful shoes as well. Cannot walk in these to save my life, but I love them. They're from Zara. Um, Zara shoes aren't the comfiest, not going to lie. And then we have some tan boots from River Island, just because, you know, sometimes you like to go tan. And then I love these, but these aren't, these were old school. So I was doing the snake skin thing before even it became a trend. So these are from last year. They're from Ego. I don't think they're there anymore. We have some silver booties. I do love an ankle boot, you'll be noticing. These are literally one of the most bought things on my YouTube channel. They have them in nude and black. So they are back in stock. They're from Pretty Little Things. So they are a must have. And there's those boots in a nudie color. I love the little studs on them. Okay, now we've got some flat shoes, some white loafers, some studded heels. These are really cool. Look at that. They are very painful though, so I don't think I've ever worn them. Um, guys, you might be noticing that I have a lot of heels compared to flat shoes. These are cute. These are like Valentino-esque ones. That's because my feet actually hurt more in flat shoes. Don't ask me why. Um, I get like a pain in the middle of my arch if I wear flat shoes. These are cute. These are from Koi Footwear. I get a lot of shoes from Koi. Um, really, really cool things on there. And then these are little ASOS loafers. Some gold loafers. I love slip-on loafers just to throw on with jeans in like maybe the summer more than, more than winter. And then these are some studded trainers from Nasty Girl. I'm starting to realise how many shoes I actually have. These are from Zara. These are cool. They have like, um, they're like Mew Mew dupes from Zara. Zara do really good dupes of like the designer. You probably wouldn't even realize that you're wearing a dupe, but they, everything is like copied off the catwalk. These are cool. These are from Sheen. I love them. They reminded me of the Gucci emblem with the, the B. And then these are from Zara at the end as well. And then we have the thigh over the knee boots. I have them in cream. I have the same ones in gray here, and I have them in black in a few different pairs. I should probably tell, I like over the knee boots. Some are like lower heels and some are like stiletto -y heels. And then we have them with studs on, we have silver ones, and then we have the most painful boots known to man here. <laughs> so that is the shoe shelf. That's everything explained. And then we have bags at the top. Maybe we do a bag collection soon. So let's hit the floor. Where do we start? <laughs> okay. Red shoes, red shoes. These were more for fashion week, these red ones, but they're kind of cool, very designer-esque, very like, fa that's why I wore them for fashion week. And then we have, the gr these are cute. So they're like gray flat ones over the knee. And then we have these ones with the rope there, a bit extra. <laughs> And then we have some more cowboy boots because you know I got these when I went to Krakow on a shoot with Bon Prix and they're a size too big. So actually maybe I'll put some of these on my Depop because 
I actually don't wear them, it's a lot, a lot of them I don't wear anymore, like these are size 5, I not size 5, my manky trainers, which definitely need to go in the bin, I need to find a new pair of trainers, I've been looking for ages, but I'm as picky as with trainers as I am with men, like, they have to be the right fit, <laughs> these are little sock booties, and then we have some brown ones, these are more like my summer shoes, which is why I've put them away, they're not on the shelf, um, summer shoes, Espadrille wedges are literally the most amazing thing for summer, hence these and these, I've literally worn them to death. Like, I wore, these are from net porter and I wore them year after year. These are in the shoe haul you've just seen, got some more Valentino dupes. I love a shoe with a stud on, you'll be getting. I got my summer shoes here, the flip flops, love these, I get a lot of flip flops from Primark. And then these are from just fab as well, little court shoes. Gucci trainers, got these from Bista Village. Who remembers that video when I went to Bista Village and got these years ago? Um, I actually don't wear these as much as I should, but I should wear them more. I think I'm like scared of ruining them, so I like to wear my um, Nike courts more. Oh my god, I love my Nike courts. I really wish they weren't discontinued. <laughs> These are new in shoes and will be appearing on my whole channel, like a whole video sometime soon. It's got some snake skin, I saw it first. And I'm venturing more into the flat shoe phase. I feel like I need to, I need to get some more flat shoes. These are from Zara, quite kind of like them. Haven't decided where I'm going to keep them yet though. Um, okay, good amount of breath. Um, Okay, next phase, we've got some black booties, we've got some leopard print booties, we have some white Valentini booties, we have some blue booties, snakeskin, these are cool, these were from the summer if you remember, my misguided studded ones, they look really cool with some outfits, we've got some black booties, with like little holes in the platforms, and then we've got some fur ones over there, and we've got some faux fur guides, faux fur, and then we've got some peep toe ones, these are new, they're like um. A little suede boot from Daniel Footwear. Some black ones. This is when I went through a short heel phase. This is probably the lowest heel I have um, when I dated someone small. <laughs> um, never again. This is six foot plus. Um, this, these are red ones. These are my nude ones. And then these are cool nude ones. I have the little Perspex heel, snakeskin. These are years or like 10 years. Gosh, guys, I was rocking snakeskin before snakeskin was even a thing. Like these are both like four or five years old. And then these are my new kind of favorites. So I know I'm going to wear these a lot because they wear my nude ones so much. Right. Then we've got some lilac ones, as you can tell, never worn these, um, don't know why I've got them. Converse, painful. Anyone else find this, that my com Converse are the most painful shoes ever? Would love them to be comfy, but they're not. These are amazing Balenciaga dupes, um, but I got them in a size too big. Um, if you can see, this goes here. Is this looking good? Can you see? Amazing, like carbon copy, sheen, and then got some like Chelsea boots, the best thing ever, and I wish they weren't discontinued. <laughs> I love the Nike Court Fly Knits, but as you can tell, I wear them to the gym all the time and they are dirty as hell. Okay, I'm having a break. <laughs> We're nearly finished. We nearly got there. Let me know your favourite shoes in the comments below. Let me know what once you you can see my washing in the corner there in the kitchen. Because of course I dry my, my underwear in my kitchen. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know which ones you like the best or which ones I should sell <laughs> um, on my Depop. Let me know. So these are Nikes, which I love and I wish I wore them more and they were a bit more cooler to wear. But I got them to go on the Bachelor Winter Games, which some of you know about, which is a show on ABC America. And it was to do with winter sports. So I got them to go skiing and stuff with or like just do winter sports in the snow because they were better than trainers because my ankles wouldn't be cold. And I got these as well, the little snuggy boots, which <laughs> I call them my shooting boots because because whenever I shoot in London, my blog, for my blog or my Instagram, I always put these on. They're like Ugg boots, so snuggly. Um, what do we have here? These are cool. I wore these the other day, you would have seen. They're like thigh highs, a little fur trim on them, little tassel at the back. Very kind of Russian kind of-esque. Um, 
showed you them. These are new kind of Balenciaga boot dupes, which I think are a better size than these ones. So maybe I'll put these in Depop because these look more my kind of size. I have titchy feet. I have like size threes. Um, sometimes a size four. And then you would have seen them recently. Shoe boots, nudie heels, whitey heels, Primark had them years. Oh my gosh, these are like what I live in in the summer, as you can tell, battered to death. I think I've even been in the sea in these. Oh my god, <laughs> so dirty. Um, little sock boots, kind of like these. They're so cute. Espadrille flats. And then we've got some more Valentino kind of Do you know what? I love these and I just haven't worn them ever. Some knotted sliders, misguided, some little cute kidney kind of heels. And then we have some black loafers, some smaller nude heels. And then I think we've covered this section. So guys, this is all my shoes. And I have about 20 pairs at my mum and dad's house. So I wonder actually how many, shall I count them and see? Shall we count them? I have 116 pairs of shoes and yes I think I do need them all I do <laughs> because I do like charity and depop a lot of my clothes um after I've stopped using them and stuff but shoes is something that I know if I throw a pair out that I will need that pair <laughs> you just I know that I have a shoe to go with any outfit, put it that way. Um, I have probably about 20 pairs at my mum and dad's house, so I probably have about 130 pairs of shoes. 100, 100 and like, wow, this is, it's crazy because when I started vlogging, I lived in a six bed house here in London and I had literally two pairs of shoes to my name, this pair, and a pair of boots with a hole in the in in the soul I'd had them that long I had no shoes like so to have this in like two three years my shoes kind of make me feel like I've come a long way <laughs> so when I have like my shoes shine it means more to me than just shoes like it, it, I don't know like it's incredible like I honestly had no clothes either when I started blogging I used to like borrow people's I know my housemate had like loads of designer bags and stuff and I just used to like borrow them and then like my friends that I worked with had designer stuff and like bags and stuff and like I just used to shoot on my lunch break with like and like borrow their accessories and stuff to make my outfits look a little bit cooler um, so yeah, that's how I started blogging, literally just selfies and like other people's clothes and stuff until I started getting like a few things gifted and then it kind of just snowboard from that really. Um, so if you guys have two pairs of shoes, just know that you can do it too. <laughs> um, all you need is a phone. Yeah. And then when I... With, with the money that I got from my first ever blog post, I invested in a camera. And then the first, like, is it the first year, any money that I made, I just invested back into, like, equipment and stuff. And I literally, it literally, all the, everything that I have in this flat came from nothing. So, just, if you don't have anything, don't think you can't, can't do it, because... Well, you kind of need a phone, but I presume most people have phones these days. It wasn't even a good phone. <laughs> um, anyway, I am going to leave this here and kind of sort this out. So head to my Depop to see if any any um, anything is on there. My mum actually does my Depop, so there might be a slow process between me telling you this and them coming on. So maybe in a couple of weeks' time, head to my Depop, because I'll take them home at Christmas time. My mum's really good. She does all my depot for me and um, like I look look after it but she like actually deals with the packaging and stuff so big thank you to mum if you're watching <laughs> anyway I'm gonna make some food and turn this off and pack shoes away and yeah see you soon good morning <laughs> you might be wondering what I'm doing I'm getting ready um oh let me pause this I'm just watching the Gilmore Girls um 
yeah i wasn't gonna pick this up today but i guess it's vlogmas so we show everything it is filming day today which means i'm about to try on a million clothes which you can all see behind me so i have my lights set up i have my pile of clothes so this is haul day video and i like to film all my hauls in one day so i will probably be filming till about two o'clock tonight um just because it's easier once everything's set up and stuff so i have such good clothes to show you at the moment so so good little sneak peek of the piles. There's this pile, there's this pile, there's a pile of the bed. <laughs> I don't know why I'm zooming in on the mess of my, my flat. But um, haul days get so, so messy. If you speak to any YouTuber or see any YouTuber vlog this kind of thing, haul days mean an explosion in the flat situation. So yeah, I'm just spent the morning getting, well, spent an hour getting ready. I've um, got the Gilmore Girls on. I'm loving Gilmore Girls. I heard so many people go on about it for ages and I'm into it. I'm into it. So yeah, I'm just curling my hair and then we'll get ready. But yeah, just ordinary life. This is this is the day job. <laughs> Mid filming. I'm taking a uh, break. Oh, the, the mound of clothes is just like giving me bad anxiety. It's not all as glamorous as you think, guys. It's so weird that this is my job. I still, to this day, I think it's like so bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> I get to sit in my home with a cup of tea, have a break and watch Gilmore Girls and like try on clothes. That's my full-time job. It's it's insane. Anyway, <laughs> um, it is actually tiring. Trying on loads of clothes it makes me really tired. <laughs> Don't underestimate it. Um, I'm going to head to Winter Wonderland tonight to meet my sister. She's in town with um, her fiancé. And I'm just gonna meet her for a drink, I think, if I finish this in time. It is now maybe about four o'clock. I think I'll be finished in four hours. How many clothes do you think I'll be able to try on? We shall see. I have arrived at Winter Wonderland. I'm so snug in this. It's so extra. <laughs> but I'm warm and that's all that matters. I've done this before. I am just about to meet my sister. God knows where she is. I am very excited for some mold wine. <laughs> my first trip to Winter Wonderland this year. I'll probably be going a lot more. This is a little trip to say hey to my sister. Last time we were here, she ran around here. We're in Hyde Park, if you guys don't know where Winter Wonderland. Actually, a lot of you are Americans, so Winter Wonderland is this massive like fairground. It's like almost like a, I want to call it a German fe like um, Christmas festival. Oh my god, why have I got cream suede boots on in the mud? So stupid. Um, so yeah, there's like a lot of cabins, mulled wine, fat. like it's just amazing. I love it, I come every year. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Hi guys. I need to stop saying guys. You do. You I say it a lot. Bon hello ladies. Bonsoir mon ami. That's French for hello my friend. Bonjour ladies. Bonsoir mon ami. Um, Hi, I'm just in a place called Muse of Mayfair with my sister. Say hi! We were at Winter Wonderland, so I did a sleep it before Winter Wonderland, and then once I was like just nearly in there, she was like, we're not in there anymore. Let's go to Claridge's. How cute is this place? Nearly got to Claridge's, and she's like, oh, we're not in Claridge's anymore. <laughs> yeah, Claridge's was that like £50 a drink, so we gave that one a miss. But cutest little place we found. We give it an up and down. It's called Muse of Mayfair. It's like pizza, loads of little nibbles and stuff, and you sit outside. And so quite okay. This is it. It's like a little alleyway in the middle of a um, fair. Cute. Smile. <laughs> Are you ready for Christmas? Have you got all your Christmas presents? <laughs> have we? Have we got our Christmas presents? Joint effort. She saw me right out this year. <laughs> we, we've done it together. Joint effort. Yeah. Just on the way home. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Someone's very happy. Yeah. Right. I know. Oh, wait. Wait for the green light, Mike. That's <laughs> what they teach us in school. This is my sister. Happy vlog. Do we look alike? <laughs> Guess who's older? Actually, no. Don't feel okay. Because I always end up really bad. 
Hiccup, um, anybody? Cocktail hiccup. Boom! <laughs> Stop. This is one of my prettiest streets in London. I think we're on New Bond Street. It's where all the designer shops are. And speak of the devil, we're walking past Chanel. <gasps> It's like midnight guys, <laughs> we're walking past Chanel in London. This is like my favourite road, just window shopping. Chanel, Dior, right to walk past Dior. Can I just say, Gucci, new season, not a fan. Mm -hmm. 